Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel uh, and welcome to a, a beautiful spring or summer evening depending on whether you go by the meteorological or the astronomical uh, start of summer. It's currently, we're already in the meteorological summer. Uh, I think that started a day or two ago. Um, but so as I know, astronomical summer doesn't start it for another, well, I think about the 20th of December, something like that. Uh, so look, what am I hoping to image tonight? Well, November last year, 2023, I uh, imaged an area of the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is one of our satellite galaxies to the Milky Way. And this area was quite rich in fascinating shapes of nebulosity. It included the Dragon's Head Nebula. It included the Cosmic Reef that uh, was so called by Hubble. And um, that was done with the Sky Watcher and, you know, encompassed a reasonable area and I was sort of thinking I'd love to get back and image just the cosmic reef itself um, and see if I can recreate Hubble's um, image of that area. Now obviously not to the degree of detail that it can, that Hubble can do because um, I'm based here on Earth and I'm shooting through polluted skies and Hubble's pretty large up there, a big telescope and uh, doesn't have to deal with our light pollution but uh, I thought I'd see how close I could get with the 10 inch Mead and the ASI 533 um, on the end. Now the Cosmic Reef consists of two sort of main parts, the, that's NGC 2020 and NGC 2014 and um, they sort of called it that because they thought it reminded, um, well it was called by the Hubble team, the Cosmic Reef because they thought it uh, sort of resembled the the undersea world so um, it's got some cool features um, some cool colors so let's see how close I can get tonight to uh, sort of recreating Hubble's cosmic reef so here's my image on astro bin that I mentioned I took um, November 2023 that had the dragon's head nebula uh, which is this area here um, and the cosmic reef which is uh, here and then various friends um, and yeah, I did two sort of versions, one more sort of a deep red colour and one that was a bit more true to the Hubble palette. But there were some great colours in that that came up um, just when you did basic combination, SHO combination. So yeah, really nice area to, to image in the LMC. And I'm just concentrating on this little area here uh, tonight with the Mead 10 inch because this whole thing here was the framing with the Skywatcher Esprit 120 and also of course the um, ASI 2600mm Pro which has a much uh, bigger sensor compared to the ASI 533 which I'm using tonight. So I have Nina uh, loaded up onto the computer in the observatory and um, so this looks a little bit messy because of shots that have been taken and also the way the offline sky map um, loads it up but this is basically the large Magellanic cloud. Um, we've got the tarantula around here which you can't see because it's um, got some areas that I've, I've imaged. Uh, I'm just going for this little small area over here. So let's um, zoom in. And so close up, this is the framing I'm using for the ASI 533. So you can see it's a square sort of sensor. And this is uh, NGC 2020 and this is NGC 2014. And together this area has been called the uh, Cosmic Reef. Now you can see down here that uh, the large Magellanic Cloud is um, Pretty ideal for imaging in the evenings. Uh, it starts off uh, pretty high in the sky by the time we get dark to darkness and before dawn it's still very very high which is uh, excellent. So here I'm doing 10 minute exposures so 600 seconds and um, at the moment I'm not sure whether I'll collect I've got, oh, I need to change that to HA. I might just do a little bit of HA tonight so that you can see on the first image what it looks like and then I might um, switch over to some O3 since the uh, moon is not about and I've uh, got to take the advantage uh, of no moon when shooting oxygen 3. So um, that is my plan for this evening's imaging session.
first sub coming in in a few seconds I mean you can see some of the area here NGC 2020 and 2014 and here we are so that's um, NGC 2020 this is the very um, bubbly looking NGC 2014 and um, I'm hoping to bring out this little feature here which um, is another nice little area of of colour um, in amongst this which is predominantly HA. Uh, this is 03 here and it's being, um, this sort of bubble is being blown by a star, I think it's this one here, which is said to be 200,000 times the size of our sun. A really cool little area of the sky. So I'm doing 10 minute exposures and uh, I'll just carry on through the night, hopefully. Okay, now I don't want to jinx it, um, but it could be clear again tonight, and this could be the fourth night of being able to image um, in a row for at least some hours anyway, which has been a huge difference from the last few months. And I'm hoping tonight to uh, finish off the cosmic reef. I'm going to collect mostly some RGB stars uh, to go with it. I've got about 30 hours of SHO, which I know sounds like a lot, uh, but I did start this project back in July. so. It's been a bit of a long time trying to collect enough data to get a, a decent image. I don't know if you can see this, the birds are going nuts at the moment, particularly the twoies there flying all over the place and getting quite close when they fly past you. Um, so look, fingers crossed for another clear night, and at least until the, the wee small hours, and um, then hopefully tomorrow I can get on to processing this image of the cosmic reef. One eternity later. Okay, so it's cut to uh, four weeks later and I'm getting to image again on this target. Uh, famous last words saying that uh, it was going to be my last night. We haven't been able to image um, around here for a long time. Um, and I've managed to get maybe like two or three exposures before the clouds have come over on other nights, but tonight supposedly it's going to be clear. Um, at least for a few hours, I'm hoping all night, but at least for a few hours. It is a 96% moon, so you know, I'm pushing my luck a bit, but I am just collecting HA. So we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed, um, for a, some sort of clear night anyway. Okay, well it's taken between four and five months to complete this um, target, but uh, finally got there. Um, I started this back in July, and um, I've ended up collecting about just over 39 hours worth in total so I'm quite happy with the integration time in the end. I really did want to get that sort of little sort of aqua area you'll see in the middle of um, the HA um, nebulosity NGC 2014 because that sort of uh, is quite crisp and clear on the Hubble image and I was trying to get as close as I could to that. Um, I think I've given the Hubble image a pretty good run for its money, uh, although some may say, well, hang on, you know, you've, although we go on about, oh, we're competing against Hubble and look how well we did against Hubble. Um, you know, Hubble is 34 years old and we're using um, much more, uh, 
new equipment when it comes to cameras and processing and stuff like that. So um, maybe we, we shouldn't get quite so cocky about uh, how well we do against Hubble. Um, I haven't seen anybody trying to compete against James Webb and I don't think we'll do, be doing that for a few years yet. So um, anyway, I'll show you uh, my image and Hubble's image and you can have a look at them and decide how well I did. Um, I'm actually now up at Langs Beach. Um, if I just turn aside, you might be able to see it might focus for the sky out there. Um, it's not too bad. I think tonight we are going to get cloud and we are going to get a, bit, a few showers, but I've had a remarkable seven night run of um, clear skies. So been imaging uh, non-stop every single night uh, for as long as I can until clouds come in, etc. So um, I'm hoping that that might indicate a bit of a turnaround for the weather and we might have a decent um, some imaging although I should not have said that because it's probably now just jinxed it but anyway um, I'll leave you with my final image of the uh, of the cosmic reef and um, I'm as I said imaging up here uh, every night I can I've got a couple more targets that I'm doing um, which I hope to have images of soon uh, but I do have a few more hours I want to collect on those so uh, look until next time here's my cosmic reef and I hope you get lots and lots of clear skies.